This week's injury update is brought to you by the Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute. JOI is the official sports medicine provider of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Say hello to Dr. Michael Urio from Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute. Uh, we appreciate a doctor from JOI joining us each and every week during the football season as we learn about some of the injuries around the league and even close to home and how it uh, impacts the Jags and other NFL teams. Uh, and the latest... Uh, uh, injury, uh, the, the Achilles continues to be a to- talking point. We've done that many times over the last couple of weeks. We have our eyes on one here with Dewan Smoot and his recovery. Uh, but an injury that happened last night in the game is concussion, uh, Jamal Adams. And this is the new system at work in the NFL where they identify, get a player off the field, and if they need to keep a player off the field. And that is exactly what happened in the Monday night football game uh, last night. Dr. Michael Yorio specializes in internal medicine and concussions. Doc, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes, and I guess the system uh, at work was on display last night, and uh, we've seen the the new rules and things that the league, uh, along with the medical professionals, um, put to work. Yeah, thank thank you for having me. I hope I hope you can can hear me. I'm in, in London as well. Um, yeah, the the, uh, the league and and the PA has uh, you know, put a lot of time and effort in putting together the protocol. It's not perfect. Um, but certainly, uh, it uh, uh, provides a lot of opportunities to uh, identify players who um, have injuries that uh, you know may not uh, be aware that they're injured. Uh, you know, they they um, you know they get up and, and get ready for the next play and uh, try to move forward. Uh, so it's not just uh, the doctors on the sidelines. We've got eyes up in the booth, um, numerous people who are, are watching. Um, to uh, to identify uh, players that are injured. Dr. Yorio with us here on Brighton Friends on ESPN 690. We can hear you loud and clear, by the way. Uh, since you're in London, we should have just done this over a, a beverage, I guess, or a pint, as they would say, over here in London. But I uh, appreciate you joining us for a few minutes. And uh, the... Uh, so obviously this this does work. How different is it from say ten years ago? I mean, if if you're a doctor on the sideline, which many of you are on the sidelines, you guys would try to get a player off the field anyway. If you saw um, someone disoriented, is it basically the eyes in the sky that does more than used to be done? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know we've we've certainly gotten better uh, with equipment. I mean, better helmets. Um, better, uh, uh, better uh, rules uh, to protect players, uh, protect head. Um, rule changes. The game has changed. Uh, the changes uh, as it relates to kickoffs. Uh, that's with injuries in mind. The peel back blocks uh, being eliminated. Uh, that's uh, again with uh, with head injuries in mind. Um, but there's always always chances of improving as as we do more research, as we learn more about the injury. Uh, and recovery and and diagnostic tools. There's always always potentials to in, improve. Um, so you know we're 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 doing our best. Um, but it's uh, you know I think uh, I think where, where we're at right now at the NFL is is really the uh, the standard uh, for for how uh, concussions are managed. Dr. Michael Yorio with us, Brenton Friends on ESPN 690. He's with JOI. Uh, JOI doctor joins us each and every week on ESPN 690. Talk about some of the injuries and uh, things happening around the NFL. And Dr. Yorio's uh, spent time with the Carolina Panthers and the Baltimore Ravens in the past as well. Now he's with uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, the Guardian Caps in training camp, those seemingly have worked, right? Because uh, the, there's increased use and in regulations around those. Uh, why has that been so effective? Uh, the studies and research seem to show um, it's a it's a method that prevents concussions. Yeah, it it uh, it reduces the sub concussive impacts, meaning uh, impacts that happen on a regular basis between linemen, offensive linemen, and defensive linemen, linebackers, tight ends. Uh, during practice, uh, they hit heads um, not hard enough to uh, reach a concussion, but uh, enough of an impact on the head uh, certainly reduces uh, the amount of force uh, in a lab. Certainly see that, but we're also seeing it uh, translate into practice and preseason uh, impacts and injuries as well. And and that's um, you know that's something that certainly uh, uh, hopefully translates uh, into as we get into the season, uh, players uh, 
number one, not having uh, head injuries, but number two, being able to practice, train, being held out of uh, playing because of uh, an injury they're recovering with and and uh, help them to uh, maintain their conditioning and, and uh, avoid musculoskeletal injuries and, and additional problems. How much do team doctors and the medical professionals around these teams help uh... – I guess, foster some of the new rules and ways you guys do things with probably annual meetings and committees? Uh, is there a lot of conversation and input from the actual team physicians and doctors and, and like I said, medical professionals to help change some of the things that have gone on to what now goes on? Uh, I think it's I think it's a team uh, effort. It's not just the doctors. It's uh, uh, the athletic trainers, the performance, uh, uh, performance team. Uh, coaches are, are much more uh, uh, in tune, educated uh, with um, you know concussions, head injuries, uh, keeping players on the field. Um, the NFL and and the PA uh, you know have also uh, made made uh, uh, focused uh, uh, ideas on, uh, on on practice and uh, making sure that uh, players are are able to compete at a high level. Uh, and again, reducing the risk of, of injuries long term. Dr. Michael Urio with us from JOI. Last one for me, and appreciate you jumping on and uh, trying to get connected here in London uh, as you're at the Jaguars uh, team facility here in England. Uh, I'm down in central London on uh, ESPN 690. What kind of challenges uh, for you guys does London present in terms of treating injuries, dealing with injuries during a week like this instead of at home, and then also injuries that take place during a game, and then you have an eight-hour flight, nine-hour flight back to the United States on Sunday night into Monday. Uh, there's got to be a bunch of challenges that come with that. Yeah, it's a little bit different this year. Um, you know, we're, we're used to um, having things uh, a certain way in Jacksonville. Um, and certainly our, our, our hosts here in London are, are doing everything they can to make sure that, that we get uh, imaging and, and all the uh, supplies and, and services that we need in a, in a timely manner. Uh, but, um, you know, I think from, from the, the question of, of flying back after a game, you know, long trip, uh, probably not too far off from, uh, certainly longer, but uh, a little bit longer, but not too far off than a flight from the West Coast. Um, and, um, you know, just making the decision if they're okay to fly or, or not or, or stay behind. Um, for us, coming to London, um, you know, this is my 10th year uh, uh, with the team. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, the adjustment for uh, the time change, the adjustment in sleep, um, all of that uh, has become fairly routine since we do it uh, every year, except for the COVID year. But, um, you know, things, things have, uh, have been a little bit more a routine for us, uh, seeing that we do it uh, once a year. I will ask one more follow-up. Uh, so you guys can do everything, x-rays, MRIs, like all that kind of stuff, or are those things that, like an MRI, would you have to wait to get back to the States, or can you do that this week? No, we get everything here. So um, if we needed an MRI, we will get it um, in the same, pretty much the same amount of time as we would uh, in uh, uh, in the United States. All right, good uh, good deal. I kind of figured it would, but uh, just uh, one of those little nuanced things, kind of a curiosity with the, the first time that's ever happened. Dr. Michael Yorio from JOI, I appreciate your time. Thanks for trying to stay connected, and uh, we'll see you the rest of the week here in London. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have a great night.